So I'm driving home the other day with my son. He's in the back seat. He just came from baseball practice and he's just like looking out the window at the rain, you know, kind of like on the window. And he's just really interested in that, that little moment right there, just watching the rain kind of cascade down the window. And it was cool, first of all, to see how present he was, just how that was everything. There was nothing else going on. He was just watching the raindrops go as the car went fast and how it, how it made it drift across the window. But then he felt me, he felt me hit the brakes and kind of a little bit sharply hit the brakes. And he said, he said, daddy, why, why'd you, why'd you stop? Or why'd you slow down like that? I said, well, because the car in front of me slowed down, buddy. And he said, uh, well, what about what was happening in front of that? And I said, you know, I don't know. And for some reason, like it, it became very clear to me, this, this idea of goal setting and vision and all of that, like his question kind of triggered this, this analogy in me. Um, that became so so instant and clear, like the, cl- the clouds parted because I've been working a lot on how to explain the proper way to set a vision and set goals for some work that I'm doing with some people. And his question just sort of got me. So, so here's how I broke it down. When we left the place that he was playing baseball, when we left baseball practice, we had a vision in mind, right? We knew where we were going. We were going home. That's, that's the vision. Okay. I, I have a direction. I know the way I need to go. I know where I'm going, I'm going home. So I had that vision. I have my vision. I, I consulted it and then I let it go. And that's the same as, you know, when you're doing like morning visualization, whatever, you don't want to, you don't want to just like only look at your vision. You want to know what your vision is, but then you want to focus on the journey and the steps it takes to get there, set the goals and how you kind of get uh, down the road to reach your vision. So as we're driving down the road, I'm thinking about this. So we have the vision to get home. And what I'm doing right now is I'm focused on what's right in front of me. I'm focused on this car in front of me, right? That's what, that's why I hit the brakes. That's why he asked the question. There's a car in front of me that I need to focus on. That's the thing that is, is right there. And if I don't focus on that thing right in front of me, that next step, that thing that's right there for me to sort of be aware of, then I'm going to crash, right? I'm going to run into it. If I start looking at the cars in front of him or her, I'm going to hit this car in front of me. I am going to crash. Now, it doesn't mean that on the journey, there's not going to be moments where I need to I need to divert my attention a little bit, right? Where I'm merging onto the highway now, maybe, or off or on the highway. This car's in front of me. I know it's there. I know what's in front of me, but I, I got to watch to the side too for merging and making sure those vehicles, I'm not going to hit into those, right? But always I have this in front of me. I'm not looking beyond what's right in front of me. And on the way home, you know, sometimes my exit gets closed, right? The exit gets closed and I've got to, I've got to kind of find another way to get to my, my end destination, the vision that I'm looking for. It's not the, the route I thought it was going to be, but I get there. So how does that correlate to goals? Well, what was clear to me was a lot of people, I think, don't take action or don't set goals, or if they do set goals, they've got this like, oh my God, all these things that have to happen. And uh, what about this? And what about that? And what about this? And if I do this, then, well, but then the next thing that happens, won't that be difficult or whatever the case may be. But here's the thing. Here's the thing. If I just focus on what's right in front of me and deal with that, the next step, the thing that's right there in front of me, when it's done, when it's out of the way, then I can focus on what's in front of that and what's in front of that and what's next and what's next and what's next. So sometimes I think we get a little bit lost in, okay, I have a goal. I don't know how I'm going to get there. What about these steps? What about these things? When really all you have to do is look at the next thing. What's next for you? What's the next thing right in front of you? Because if you think of the analogy, right, why would you not look past the car in front of you? Because you don't want to crash. You're going to get hurt. You physically could be hurt by that. But if you're not focusing on the thing right in front of you from a standpoint of your goals, if you're not taking down the next step step before you look at the step after that, you're also going to crash. And if you don't view crashing on the path to your vision, crashing on the goals that you've set as the same sort of severity as crashing into a car in front of you, I would challenge you to elevate the, the importance of that crashing on your goals and crashing on your vision. There's a real parallel there. And again, some people get lost, I think, in just looking too far ahead and being worried about it, where if you're just driving a car and you're focusing on what's in front of you, you're going to be okay as long as you don't get too far ahead of yourself, as long as you stay focused on the task at hand and then move to the next task and the next task. So that was an interesting lesson I took from him. And I hope for all of you that you get some sense of, you know, how do I... How do I accomplish goals? How do I set goals? I'm not sure exactly how. It's the same thing as the analogy I just gave. Create your vision. Know what your vision is, all right? Put it out there so you know clearly what it is. In this case, in this analogy, it was, okay, we're going to go home. My vision, my destination is home. 
and then put it down. You know where you're going. Now set about the path of going towards your vision, that next step. The next step for me was getting in the car, driving down out of the parking lot, taking a left, getting on the highway, right? Those are all my next steps. And then focusing on what's next in front of me so that I don't crash by looking way too far ahead or getting way too far ahead of myself. That's what I would encourage all of you to do is take a look at the, the goals that you have or the vision that you've created. And if you haven't, sit down, write it out. One year, three year, five year, just dream a little bit. Put your vision down on paper. Don't worry about exactly how you're going to do the whole thing. Put it down on paper. You should consult it every day or a few times a week just so you, may, you stay clear on what your destination is. You keep clarity on that, but then take the next step. Take the next two, three steps before you think about step number four and step number five and step number six. Avoid the overwhelm, avoid all of that, and just focus on what's in front of you, the next step. No different from driving a car. So my five-year-old taught me a big lesson. Uh, hopefully his lesson teaches a lot of you something, but this is a, this is a tough thing for some folks is finding, finding what, uh, what they should do from a standpoint of goal setting and vision. And I hope this helped a lot of you. So until next time, I'll see you then.